Hello and welcome to this video from Bind Tuning. Budgets are of massive importance in any organization, be it a project's budget or a team's budget. This video is about learning how to systematize a process for approving or rejecting team members' expenses, to help control the spending budget inside the company, and to be on track with its financial goals. However, this flow can be used for any type of approval process. It's not only limited to team expenses. In this video, we will create a Power Automate flow and link it to a Bind Tuning Image Gallery web parts, so that whenever a team member uploads an image of a team bill, the team manager will receive an email to approve or reject this expense request. Then we will add a filtering option to the image gallery so it's possible for the team manager to filter the requests by their status, approved or rejected. So let's begin. So let's take a look at how this system works. First, we go to a team member's account and now we will upload an image of a receipt of a team expense or two maybe. So now we uploaded them. Now we will go to an account of a team manager. So we will go to the email and the team manager will receive an email with a link, clickable link, to the image of the receipt and they can approve. In this case, for example, approve the request or the next request, they can all, they can choose to reject it. So now we will go back to the page and click on filters. Then click on approval status. And we can know which were the requests that the team manager approved or rejected. Our team member will go to his email and he will receive an email informing him of the approval or rejection of his request. Begin creating this system and we start by creating a document library called Team Expenses Library. Let's see how it's done. So here we have a bind tuning image gallery web part and we will go to Site Contents, on the top part of the page click on the gear icon and then open Site Contents. So in this page we will click on New to create a new document library and we will call it Team-Expenses-Library. No need to show it in site navigation and then we hit create so now we will uh, create a choice type of column we will call it approval status without spaces between the words as you as referred to in previous videos then we will have two choices approved and rejected then we hit save then we add the two optional columns you you don't have to add them if you don't want to so a multiple line of text column and we can call it employee comments and another multiple line of text column called managers comments and hit save so these two uh, columns are meant to be edited inside 
the document library and they are uh, optional. So now we go back to our web parts and we edit the web parts. Then we click on image source because we want to link the bind tuning image gallery to this document library, team expenses library. So we will click on add list and then we will copy from the URL dash sites dash the name of the site collection. Click on the arrow and then team expenses library. This is the document library. And then we hit on the floppy disk icon, hit save as usual. And here we have our document library linked. Right, so now I have created the whole uh, flow and would like to show you each step by step on how to make it. So obviously, uh, while you are creating your flow, it's very important to keep saving it. And so the first step was when a file is created or modified properties only, uh, you have to enter the site address for your site collection where the uh, document library that we created earlier is. And then we chose the obviously the, the document library. Then we entered a new step called start and wait for an approval. And then we chose the approve slash reject first response, which then uh, made this window pop up. And in the title, which for example, we wrote expense approval request. You can obviously um, customize that to your liking. In the assign to, you have to put the email of the team manager who will receive the requests by email. And in item link, you have to enter the content, the, the dynamic content. You search here for thumbnail large. In the item link this description, you will put title, which is the title from the, the column title of the team expenses library that we created earlier. The requester, in the requester, you have to put a, content, a dynamic content that is called created by email. This way, the admin will receive an email of the requester, of the person who created the request. And then we added a condition of this type, outcome is equal to approve. And then we added the to the if yes, uh, send an email command uh, to the created by email, to the person who created the request by uploading the image. And we, we put the subject to be expense request approved. And then we uh, configured the email to be dear created by display name. This way, the name of the person who created the request will be here. Your expense request has been approved. Best regards. And in the if no, parallelly, we also had an email of the same structure, but saying that your expense request has been rejected. Please check your account departments. Etc. Obviously, these emails are customizable, and you can cost, you can change them to your liking. To your liking, and then obviously we added another step for the if no and if yes. That is update file properties. So we again we added the site address, the site collection, and chose the the document library that we created. And in ID, we put the uh, dynamic content ID. In title, we put the dynamic content title. However, in approval status, this is the column approval status value, we chose approve, approved. For the if yes, and for the if no, we chose the value of rejected for approval status. So that is for condition, the step of condition. And now, finally, we terminated the flow 
to by clicking on new step and entering terminate and the status for terminate was succeeded then we save the flow and then we hit on test by manually of course and click on test and now we performed the same actions in the beginning of the video by going to a team member's account and uploading an image and so on here is also a quick note about how to create the filters for the image gallery with the approval status so if we look at the document library we can see the approval status with the approved and rejected uh, choices so we edit the web part and go to filter settings and then we write approval status with no space in it which is the name of the column of the document library and right in front of it we put two square brackets with approval status with a space or maybe any other name maybe filter images uh, filter seats whatever um, is best so that's it that's how you create the team expenses approval system i hope it was helpful and please reach out to us whenever you have a question thank you so much for watching